welcome again to Monitor Phil Academy. Today, I'm going to teach on tenses. We'll say that there are three main types of tenses. These types are present tense, past tense, and the future tense. We'll say that each of these three types mentioned above is divided into four categories. These four categories include simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. This makes to have a total of 12 categories of tenses. In today's session, I'm going to deal with the first type of tenses, which is present tense. Now, in the present tense, we are going to deal with it throughout all the four categories. As we've said that, the first category is simple. Now, we are going to deal with simple present tense. We have different examples of sentences which are in simple present tense as you see here. The first sentence is, James sings a song every day. A second sentence is, my children sing a song every day. A third, they sing a song every day. A fourth sentence is, he or she or it sings a song every day. Now, in these four examples, you may find that when we use a single name, when we use a single name or a pronoun, he, she or it, on the main verb, we should add the word s. But it depends on the kind of a verb. For example, if it is a verb like go, like go, it becomes goes, goes. So here we add es. Now to add s or es depends on the kind of a verb you have. Uh, also, for the pronoun like they and we, or nouns which are in plural, a verb remains in its infinitive form. As you see here, they sing. My children sing. So my children is in plural also. I have said they or we. The verb remains as it is. As you find, sing, sing. After this first category, let us see a second category of present tense. This is present continuous tense. Now we have different examples of sentences which are in present uh, con in which are in present continuous tense as you see. The first example, James is singing a song now. Number two, my children are singing a song now. Number three, they are singing a song now. Number four, he or she or it is singing a song now. Now, from these four sentences, you may find that uh, in each sentence we have the helping verb is or are. And after the helping verb, we should add the main verb which ends with ing. As you see, sing, 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 sing in each of the sentences. But the helping verb is, is used when a pronoun is in singular or when we are dealing with a name of a single individual. And R is used when uh, we are dealing with pronouns which are in plural or nouns which are in plural. Okay, let us see a third category of present tense. This is present perfect tense. In the present perfect tense, we use the helping verb has or have. For example, the first, the first sentence is James has sung a song. Number two, my children have sung a song. Number three, they have sung a song. Number four, he or she or it has sung a song. So, so here you may notice that uh, when we are dealing with a single name or a pronoun he, she or it, the, uh, the helping verb used is has. But when we are dealing with the pronouns like they or we or names which are in plural, as you see here, my children, or the pronoun they, we have used the helping verb have, have. And the main verb should be in past participle. Regardless, we have used the pronoun have or has. Let us see our fourth category. Our fourth category of present tense is present perfect continuous tense. 
Uh, we have different examples of sentences which are in present perfect continuous tense, as you see here. Number one, James has been singing a song since the morning. Number two, my children have been singing a song since the morning. Number three, they have been singing a song since the morning. Number four, he or she or it has been singing a song since the morning. From these four sentences, you may find that any sentence which is in a present perfect continuous tense, it should have the word has been or have been and each should be followed by the main verb ending with ing. So this is all about present tense. Now I take this chance to thank you for attending today's session. I welcome you in the next sessions. I say bye.